Hi, my name's Blake. Hi, my name's Torben. We come from the Johnson County Livestock Club. And I've been in 4-H for four years, and he has... I've been in 4-H for five years. My favorite part of showing pigs is bonding with my family and friends and having fun at the shows. I like learning about the pig and their personalities, which is really interesting because they're, they're not all the same. So the basic time you have to start looking for a pig would be around February and March. What you want to look for is like a pig that has a good, has a, can track straight and can lift his head up and deeper belly and strong muscle. If you're trying to decide what pig breed's good, I, we would recommend a dark breeds because they're, they're, they don't get sunburned that easy and that you, and you can, it's easier to uh, condition them. Usually you can get a light cross breed, but if you do, you might want to keep them in an enclosed area. But when you first get the pigs, it would be good just to uh, sit in there with them and let get the, let them come to you and let them get to know you. That's what, how you make a great relationship with the pig and you and you can learn more about them once you get to know them because they'll trust you a lot more. And we start out to be in a small area like this. Then we work outside and we try to work our way up and when they're used to it, if walking with the whip, they can have larger areas. Uh, our main objective is to take care of the animal. And when most people think about whip, they think of that we're gonna hurt the animal. But no, this actually, this actually feels like it's tickling the pig. The tassel right here, tapping them with this under their chin to get their head up and tapping them in the cheeks to turn. These pens right here, waters and feeders. This is like one example of a water or like one of these waters. You can, you can make this out of like tubing and plastic which is pretty easy. You can order these off of any like website. Well, I would recommend uh, you would make a water system, like how what we have here outside the metal waters, because they, because you don't have to come out every time to water them. Another big challenge is getting their feed correctly, because. If you don't want them overweight or underweight for fair or in show. So when you get your pigs around March, they'll usually weigh about 50 pounds. And like when you're going to a show, about to go to a show, they should weigh 260 to 270 and 280. You might want to have a measuring cup when measuring out feed. To get the right feed is seeing how much how much they're supposed to weigh in the show. Example, it would be writing it down on a marker board. Like we have, we have four pens, so we got four slots. And so that is, and we put our, the rations in these boxes to tell us to remember what to feed them. So this is one of the things that we would, you would feed for your pig. It would be beet pulp, it, it would be a really sweet salad because the molasses in it. And this is what you would feed your pig. It would be, we feed scud. When you're, when you're washing a pig, I would, you would use a hose like this and use this type of brush to make sure that they're you're getting scrubbed really hard and nice. You also want to use, if you're conditioning, and to making sure that their hair lays straight down would be these kind of brushes and uh, and one of these show brushes at the show because you want to comb your pig's hair back because sometimes they'll stand up while you're showing or they might get something on them and you want to, and like this is your first to 
calling your pig and to sell it down. Getting the information from my mom because she showed pigs too. I I watch other people show pigs and to um, understand what they're doing and how they do it. We look at on to videos on YouTube to see from other shows and seeing what they do and try to copy off of them and try to get some learning from them. Have fun with the project. It's it's not it's not difficult. It's just sir it's just for fun and that it's supposed to be enjoyed with.